Thank you, thank you. Okay, time to move on with brand image and the customer experience, or as we're now developing customer engagement. Now, what was fun recently? Now, I suppose I find it funny, but my team get frustrated more and more. We try and engage with businesses that are struggling, that are not developing. Their brands look old. They've started to lose focus. They're not on social media as much as they were. And we've got to take a brand in particular in the country clothing section. We won't mention them for legal reasons, but we do as a group of consultants due diligence we look at companies house we find out how much they turn over we look at their social media we then send emails and such like to various shops various outlets asking whether they stock the range of clothing they stock the brand we do due diligence Now, the reason behind this is that when you start talking to a business that is, shall we say, struggling or underperforming, their brand is weak, their engagement is poor, you always come up with a defence. Now, the run-up to Christmas, most businesses are in full flight. We fully understand that. But when the consultants are ringing you up, saying, you know, I can't find your brand. What are you doing? Where are you? Where do I find you? These are your customers. Now, this particular business, shall we say, has got no retail outlets locally. There is one in the next county. But when we sent a message to that store and said, do you stock this? Yeah, not a lot. We don't do a lot with them. It's difficult to get stuff from them. Their sizes are all wrong. So we thought, well, okay, this is a prime opportunity to go to the business brand directly and say, look, we've done some due diligence. You know, is there anything we can help you with? So we sent a preliminary email, as you do. And you say, look, you know, we've tried to do some research. We've tried to buy some of your products. Um, We're struggling as a consultancy firm. Would you like to help us? Would you like us to help you? Sorry. And you get an email back. No, we're doing okay. We have outlets. We're doing okay. So rightly or wrongly, we send a message back. Well, okay, we appreciate that. Wouldn't you like to do excellent? You know, we've got lots of things we could do to help you. The run up with Christmas, magazine advertising. Have you got a budget? Where do you want to be? And it's the reply you get back. What's it got to do with you? We're happy with our business. We don't need you telling us anything. And you sit back and you look and you go, we're potential customers. We're trying to help you. You know, you've got no idea of our cost. You've got no idea of what we're saying. But you're doing okay. We know what your financial situation is. We've looked at Company's House. We know what the last five years' accounts are. We're sitting there looking at each other in the office going, there isn't enough turnover to warrant the staff that they had this year. They're two staff less from last year. The outlets aren't stocking this brand. It's going downhill and they're not willing to accept it. They are on social media once every month. We've got this deal. We've got that deal. And you kind of sit there and you go, there was a long time this has been going on for. When do you wake up and smell the gravy, as it were? And it's something we've been talking about a lot in the office. You know, Christmas is a big time of year for a lot of brands, a lot of businesses. The leisure industry capitalised through the summer, golf clubs through the summer, they have good days, the sun is out, anybody that's connected to the beach, you've got to capitalise, as they say, make hay while the sun's shining. Now, if you've got a clothing brand or you've got a country brand, people are going to want to buy the clothing. We have a bad winter, the weather forecast is for inclement weather, you get out there, you push your brand. Now... 
rightly or wrongly, the country clothing is about the look, the feel, the way it engages you. Is it functional? Is it practical? Is it fashionable? Now, the trouble is with most businesses, they spend too much time in the business. And by that, we mean you are in it every day, day in, day out. You can't see the wood for the trees. So the thing being, I'd like you all to take a step back from your business just for five, ten minutes. Will your business survive if you're not there next week? If you run your manager up and or your one of your team up, your lower manager, your supervisor, and said, I'm having next week off, are you all right? Could you do it? Could your business carry on? Because bottom line is, if it can't, you don't have a business. You are the business. If your business can, then you can go and get it more work. You can work for the business, not in the business. And it's something we're going to talk about a great deal, but we just thought we'd use this country clothing brand. You know, it's coming up to Christmas. They should be out there. They should be pushing their merchandise. The various magazines are all out. Obviously, we read The Field, which is a bump, 192 pages of what to be seen in, what to wear, what to buy, where to go. You know, and it is the countryside magazine. You've got to be in it. Now, if you're not in it, there's a reason. Either you can't afford it, well, fine, go to the bank and understand why you can't. But when you've got consultants ringing you up and customers saying, I want your product, where are you? What can you do? You have to take stock. And I mean that in the literal sense. Take a look at your business. Understand it. Go and do a mystery shop. We do them all the time for businesses. We do a lot of them in some cases, as part of a package. We do a due diligence, we do a looking in, you know, a looking out, aligning where you want to be, what your customers look like, what are they buying, what are they spending. Now, in the country clothing side, shirts, jackets are expensive, but people buy quality, they buy a name. Most of my shirts are £70, £80 plus for a shirt. You know, you've got your waistcoat, your tweed jackets, five or six hundred pound. When you're in that region and they are your customers, you've got to take your brand to them. Now, I know this blog's been slightly longer than usual, but I wanted to kind of explain that the frustration that customers have trying to search for a brand or a product, they give up in the end. And once they've gone somewhere else and they've been looked after, and they've been serviced, and they've been encouraged, and they've been engaged, and they've been thought of, they don't come back. And the comment always is, it costs a lot more money to get a customer than it does to keep one. Now, you've got the situation over Christmas. Once you've got these customers, what are you doing to keep hold of them? Not just in January, February, March, and April, but as you go through with your brands, your products, your services, how are you keeping your customer all year? Now, obviously, you know, in front of these people in front of me now, they're sitting there, they're making their notes, they're puzzling their questions, and we're going to have a Q&A shortly. But it's about understanding not just where you're going to be. I mean, I always talk long term, where you're going to be in three years, five years, six years. In some respects, is your business still going to be there in six months? We have a good winter. Yes, it's going to help a load of brands out, wellies, you know, country clothing, something warm, something practical, waterproofs, umbrellas that we haven't used for all summer that we put away damage. We'll be selling more. We'll be buying more. But we need to think we should have been doing our winter sales, our winter preparation back in June and July. We always joke about the big supermarkets they've already ordered their easter eggs they've already got valentine stuff sat in the shelves i've been to some of the big distribution warehouses and they sat there already with the valentine's gifts already sat there the easter gifts already there and in some places christmas decorations are already for 2018 not 2017 so you need to think how far in front is your business looking can your business survive without you on what is it doing.
So bear that in mind.